We are again in 2020, and Julian Assange disclosed one of uh, probably one of the most important leak uh, in the history. In the meantime, uh, the mission in, to the planet Jupiter ended tragically, with um, the original Alman Chausen killing the, the entire spaceship's crew before the mission ended. So the, the supercomputer passed brilliantly the Turing test, uh, and this created many troubles to the Human Rights Council. Are we dealing with a machine or with a human being? In the meantime, Android with similar human features have started obviously to establish in every aspect of our societies too, so they are not uh, simply a tools. How can we determine if someone or something could be treated similar to a human being? What are the elements that could give us the complete picture of the existence itself? Meaning that if a device has civil rights, you cannot just throw it away. You have to give it a pension, a healthcare system, and a future. And it costs a lot of money. Or you say, you just killed, you're a computer, you're not human, you don't deserve to have a child, you don't deserve it, you just switch off, and we substitute all the wrong devices with new devices. Also can lead to many problems give rights to the robots, for example. First of all, overpopulation. Where do we put all these robots? Second uh, problem is uh, energy. How can we maintain all these robots? And the last problem is bugs. Usually when a robot has a bug, you change it, you throw away, you recycle it. But if they have rights, you cannot. Why robots should have rights? First one, robots are able to think. They help us in our everyday life. Robots can also have feelings and personality, and they could be our friends. All robots are workers, and in 2020 they are an important part of our industry and society. So they are very similar to us. Try to think about people without rights. People without rights are sad, could also be angry, because they are under oppression, and they could also do a revolution. For example, slavery and uh, racism with black people. You know, if robots have rights, then there is no ownership. But how it can be possible if robots are produced by someone and someone wants money for that? For the pro civil rights team, so do you think that it is right to kill, for example, animals to eat them and it's not right to kill some robots? That's it. Well, robots can learn too. Yeah, but it's not, it's not enough. It's not enough? <laughs> what is the checklist or what is human and what is not? I tell you, if you do the checklist, a number of people here will not be human. So how do you punish a robot? You are saying you are going to punish them. Uh, they can't feel nothing, so uh, how do you punish them? What I'm saying is how do they die? We die, we age, we die. How do they die? You plot. <laughs> Who unplugs them? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Most of us unplugs our loved ones and they do not want to die. Okay. Easy now.